13.2, the misuses of statistics. Yes, believe it or not, people can misuse this. Many individuals, businesses, and advertising firms misuse statistics to their own advantage, especially politicians. When examining statistical information, consider the following. Was the sample used to gather the statistical data unbiased and of a sufficient size? This is a big one, and I really watch politics a lot, so I see this all the time. Is the statistical statement ambiguous? Could it be interpreted in more than one way? And that's what they call spin. Example one, misleading statistics. An advertising statement says, fly Speedway Airlines and save 20%. So here there's not enough information given. Two, the save 20% could be off the original ticket price, off the ticket price when you buy two tickets, or 20% of a competitor's price. You don't know, so that's not enough information. B, a help wanted sign or ad read, salesperson wanted for Ryan's Furniture Store. Average salary, $32,000. Again, not enough information given. The word average can be misleading. If most salespeople earn 20000 to 25000 and the owner earns 76000 the average salary may not be a fair representation. So, meaning that you could be making down here when you're expecting this salary. Charts and graphs. Charts and graphs can also be misleading. I see this all the time. I don't think they always intend to be misleading. They're just trying to um, show current, like I'm, I'm talking financial, and they show the difference in in stocks going up, but they don't show this chart from 0 to 100. They might show 90 to 100 to show more of a dramatic increase or decrease. So charts and graphs can be misleading even though the data is displayed correctly. Adjusting the vertical scale of a graph can give a different impression and a circle graph can be misleading if the sum of the parts of the graph do not add up to 100%. Important thing to check out. So here we have some misleading graphs. So each graph represents identical information. The vertical scales have been altered. So here it's 0 to 40. Here it's 0, but then this little thing here means little zigzag means I mean, there's a bunch of stuff down there, and it starts here at 25 to 35. So it shows a difference of 10. Looks like a much more dramatic increase than this. Next one as well. We have this graph goes from 92 to 100, or 101, where this goes from 0 to 120. So this graph, these two values look really close, where in this graph they look very far apart because they're really focusing on the upper part. They're focusing on just this little region up here. Okay. And that'll do it for 13.2, the misuses of statistics.